So this is really kind of what I often call is our heart space. And so this is where we'll have guest speakers, different presenters, the mural behind us. The idea came about, um, I'd say kind of a few months after the Marshall fires. We wanted to be able to have something that just symbolized uh, what our community kind of went through. Just showcase the, you know, the strength, the resilience, and really what the community endured and yet how we've been able to really rise and soar above that and and that's essentially what the falcon stands for right strength we are fireside strong a big element we were looking for is something that was light bright kind of a sense of soaring rising kind of elevating right and i think as you can see in the backdrop, that's what you get in terms of the color. Jason has done a phenomenal job. I think we really found the right artist. Jason, yes. <laughs> and he lives within five miles. So he actually, I think, really understands, you know, um, what the community has gone through. Tonight, breaking news as we come on the air. Life-threatening wildfires sweeping through parts of Colorado. Late today, the governor declaring a state of emergency. We would never expect that to happen here on that level. When the fires happened, I was definitely wondering if it was going to reach our house. I saw it out on the horizon, you know. I have lots of friends and community affected by it as well. happened um, like two years ago when I was in third grade. We had quite a few families that lost their homes or were displaced. It made me feel stressed about my family and I was scared. My grandparents almost had to evacuate but it didn't get to them. And so there were a variety of layers really of support that were needed from food to clothing, um, just to a, a friend to, to talk with as well. I think what I'm most proud of is really how the community has come together to support each other, how staff have supported one another, and then really the, the partnership and support from the district in terms of additional resources to come in and, and really see that need and support our, our staff and students and community. We are fireside strong. Right now, we're in a stage where there's rebuilding that's happening, we have families that are actually moving back into new homes, and so I finally feel like we're at a point in time right now where some families are starting to kind of rise above it all, and there's some, you know, a sense of normalcy, and that's not for all families, right? People are at different phases and stages with it, but um, especially when you, you know, drive the, the back roads in the neighborhood and you can see those homes, I think it really does give that just a sense of hope and that, you know, we've been able to endure and, and rise above it. We're pulling together an assembly. We are really here to honor and recognize that incredible mural that is in our amphitheater. They'll think it's a masterpiece, I think. I mean, when I look at it, I get goosebumps. They'll think it resembles how strong we are. My hope, honestly, is that every time someone's in this space, there is this source of inspiration they get. I mean, I think just looking at that, you feel empowered. I think he did a really good job in it. <laughs>